hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be trying my best to style a wig i randomly found in the beauty supply store it was my sister's birthday weekend and i went in to find her a wig and i ended up buying myself a wig as well because i found one that said it was 45 inches and i was like so i bought it came home looked at it it wasn't a lace wig yeah it's not a lace wig so because it's still 45 inches and i'm gonna make it into a look you know me i'm gonna use my magic and make it do what it's do so if you would like to see that then keep watching If you hear motorcycles, if you hear reggaeton, if you hear reggae, if you hear people, it is a Friday night, okay? And I decided to film on a Friday night. Yeah, so, and I live in New York City. This is her, you guys. This is her, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, this is how she looks. She came with this like ribbon around it because she's super duper long and i got her and i believe i got her in a one yeah i got her in a one like i said you guys no lace at all it has like a a deep part that they're saying which is a deep part right here but the thing about it this is you can see it looks deep on the inside but on the outside it's super tight so we're gonna have to do something to that because it's super tight on the outside but it looks deep on the inside which is a good thing because that means that i can pluck in this area all right here because it's lace all in this area so i can pluck as much hair as i want to in this area and it won't show anything because that's where it is it has one clip and a strap and that's literally it that's all they gave me to work with one tiny clip in the front and a strap i put her on this is how she's looking um oh it's a little hot in here chat um it's so funny like that i'm putting this wig on because I wish, let me insert a picture. This is my, one of my first, this is the first wig I've ever bought in my life. The picture will be right here. I was 21 or 22 after I shaved my head, going through my shaved head phase. And I went to my friend, she was in college away upstate New York. And I went to the college for a weekend and we were going out. So I had my wig on with, and, and because it was synthetic and I know you couldn't dye it, I, being my creative self, got like a strip of like yellow, um, it was like a yellow strip of hair and I put it in and that was supposed to be like a streak and I had like the cab driver hat, that's what they called them, the cab driver hat and just the long Forever 21 chain, I think I have that on and ciao, but this wig is reminding me of it because it looked like this, it was very dark. It was a full wig, no lace, and it was just very like this. But anyway, it's a side part. I can try to put her in the middle, but it looks, let me see how it looks in the middle. Um, I could try to put it in the middle, but because there's no lace, it just, it's very, I don't know, it's very weird looking. Um, and I don't really have a lot of wigs that are side parts that are really long. So I'm going to actually leave her. On, she's supposed to be on the side. Like that's how it looks on the wig. Um, on the box. But I'm going to I'm gonna put her to the side. I'm not going to put her in the middle. Let's comb it. Let's comb it out. And hold on you guys. So she's 45 inches. So she's really, really long. This is how the ends look. They're curvy. I don't like the fact that they curl, so I'm definitely gonna straighten it because I want it to be like bone straight. She's actually thin. I don't even think I need to thin this out, but you know what? I'm probably gonna, let me thin out the ends. So I'm gonna take my thinning shears, look like this. Got them from the beauty supply store. And I'm gonna actually just thin out the, um, the ends just a little bit. So like one, two, three. One, two, three one two three and you see all the hairs coming out that's how you thin out your wig well the ends of the wigs i've showed you guys how to thin out wigs before if you want another video just let me know but that's how you thin out 
the end of the wig. This is the thinnest I like. I still don't like the curl and we're gonna fix that, but I like that it's it's this thin. I get to the front, I wanna actually flat iron it, see if it takes heat. And I'm gonna use my Nano Baby Bliss Pro flat iron. I just actually bought this. Um, my sister had it and I went to her house and I used it. Cause you guys know I always use my blinged out pink flat iron I got from Kendra's Boutique. So I used her, she had the smaller one and the one inch and my hair i had on my human wig at that time my hair was so bone straight i went home immediately and i said i need to buy this but you know what i'm gonna buy the thicker one because it's great because it's two inches so it grabs all this hair and it immediately straightens it and it's super fast so it's like i'm like one two three the whole wig is straight i'm just gonna go ahead and just run this through a little bit just to make sure that it's oh okay Nothing happened, it didn't burn. Okay. So I really want to focus on the ends. So we're going to do the ends. and now i'm gonna do this side as you can see this is how it came when i put it on and this is it straightened and isn't it so pretty and straight when you straighten it I straightened her out this is her straightened she looks good now what I want to tackle right now is this part it's bothering me it's tight it's annoying so I'm gonna pluck the part right now I'm gonna try to zoom in as best as I can and I'm gonna use my small little hand mirror so that I can see what I'm doing close up much as I could when I looked really really closely I see that I'm kind of plucking the lace so I don't want to over pluck it so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer um, because that's pretty much how you make a part when the part is too tight you use a little concealer to kind of open it up that's the most I can do I can't over pluck it y'all so I'm just gonna take my LA girl pro concealer hold on take my LA girl pro concealer and this is in the color toffee and I'm gonna take my brush my beautiful cute little fluffy brush and I'm gonna put a little bit because you don't want to overdo it The wax stick since we're already close up i might as well just do everything on the hair close up and i'm just gonna kind of put it on this area because it's a little bit puffy now that i did the parting and she's straight before i style it I want to make a little bit of edges because the look that I'm going to do is basically just like the swoop behind the ear, swoop behind the ear, and then I'm going to add like a really cute headband. Before I do that, I want to add a little bit of edges because I don't want to put this behind my ear 
and you just see my natural hair is just sitting here like that and I used to always do this to my to my full wigs like when I would buy a full wig before lace wigs I would always cut edges just to make it look you know natural when you put it behind your ear it doesn't just look like you know you're bald underneath I hate that look so this is enough hair right here oh so anyway boom that's off I don't want it too long so cut down a little bit more this goes behind the ear okay. I'm gonna use the bold hold lace jelly and this pretty much is like the bold hold it's like the not the bold it's like the got to be but I like it because it's black owned so they made their own like version of the got to be gel which I like and I support black owned business so I went ahead and I bought this one and this is the one I use now I use my little brush that I got from bold hold as well just clean it a little bit um, it looks like this turquoise really pretty and I'm just gonna put some on the tip of the brush and I'm gonna brush these edges We made a little edge I didn't want it to be super duper long so this part is gonna stay behind my ear and then I'm gonna do the other side okay so I think that looks better going for like that and I'll pull this down a little bit that goes behind my ear like that and then this side we're going to do a nice swoop so I'm just going to comb this out like that and I'm going to take my wax stick and wax that down because we're going to do a swoop D. bought this furry headband to kind of go with the look that I'm wearing today so I'm just gonna put the headband exactly where I want her to be like I said you guys I tried my best with the part it does look a slight bit wiggy on this side just because it, this just bothers me but I tried my best to add a little bit of edges and um, make the parting, you know, nice and plucked. Um, and then this is how this side came out, just like this. So I tried my best, you guys. Um, hopefully it came out. Hopefully you guys like it. How far I can back up without knocking over my backdrop. But she literally comes a little bit above my thigh. You can see. It's really pretty. Hopefully the lace, or not the lace, the tracks are not showing in the back. But this is how the back is looking. It doesn't look super shiny. This is how the back looks. Thank you so much for watching this fabulous video. I will see you guys in my next video. I have a nice 50 inch wig braid that I can't wait to show you guys and share with you. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not. Give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because those are the ones I use the most. And Tumblr, but I'm very old school. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. But until then, keep slaying.